for more about our agricultural past, we went to Dayton, Ohio. On the banks of the Great Miami River is a place called Sunwatch Village. The site of several archaeological excavations, Sunwatch holds many clues to the prehistoric people who were Ohio's first farmers. The folks who inhabited Sunwatch we refer to as the Fort Ancient Indians. Uh, one of the things that stands out about the Fort Ancient culture is that they were the first real farmers of the Ohio Valley area. Agriculture was a huge part of their survival. Uh, based on the analysis of the archaeological remains, it looks like at least 50% of the diet of the villagers uh, at Sunwatch here came directly from the corn that they were growing. Some sites indicate as much as maybe three quarters of their diet straight out of their garden. So the gardening was a very important aspect of life for the Fort Ancient villagers. A bad growing season could threaten the survival of the villagers here at Sunwatch. It was very important for them to get a successful crop in each year. And actually the way the village is set up, we think it's set up like a giant sundial with alignments uh, that fall in the form of shadows at various points in the season. And we have an alignment that we refer to as the planting alignment, which takes place in late April. And when this alignment falls, we think it was an indicator to the villagers that it was safe to plant the crops. It was late enough in the year that they should be able to avoid any late frosts. And from this post originate what we refer to as astronomical alignments. Uh, so for instance, on the morning of the winter solstice, which is when the sun is at the farthest southeast as it will rise during the year. The sun's rising southeast of the village. So as it rises and hits the center pole, the shadow falls to the northwest across the village between this smaller alignment of posts here and across the village and through the doorway of the house over here, which for lack of a better term, we call the winter solstice house. So the first farmers use the sun to know when to plant and when to harvest. Today we use more sophisticated tools, but one thing remains the same. We're still at the mercy of mother nature. To work the land, you need tools. What did the first farmers use to cultivate their fields? The primary tools that the Fort Ancient villagers here at Sunwatch would have used in gardening would have been the clamshell hoe, uh, such as this one, and a digging stick. Uh, fairly simple tools that they would have used, but lacking metal and other modern materials, uh, these were the materials that they had access to. Uh, the clamshell hoes, uh, one of the reasons probably for the location of this village is it's directly adjacent to the Great Miami River just east of us, about 100 yards or so. These freshwater clams were available by the hundreds in the river. If you go past a cornfield in Ohio today, you just see row after row, straight rows of corn or beans or whatever individual crop they're growing. In the Indian gardens, they would have planted crops in what we refer to as corn hills, uh, in these mounds that they would plant in the gardens with corn at the center, beans kind of growing up and around with the corn and the squash planted around them as, as a kind of ground cover to reduce the weeds and reduce the need for weeding in the gardens. Historically we've referred to the primary crops of the American Indians as the three sisters, corn, beans, and squash. They would put a, a kind of a stand or a scaffold out near the garden uh, where women or maybe some of the children of the village would stand on top basically to shoo away crows, deer, uh, any other animals that may have been trying to get into the garden. Today, crops quickly find their way to grocery stores, cupboards, pantries, and refrigerators. Some are stored in silos or grain elevators. The Fort Ancient farmers had their own storage system. The villagers here at Sunwatch stored their crops primarily 
in storage pits in front of their houses in the village. Uh, these would have been storage pits, roughly bell-shaped, uh, dug into the ground uh, anywhere from maybe three to five or six feet deep, about two or three feet around at the surface. Uh, and these storage pits would hold several bushels of food uh, that would have been placed into the pits uh, at the harvest in the fall. A major difference between the first farmers and modern farmers is the use of fertilizers. As far as we know, the Fort Ancient Villagers didn't use any kind of fertilizer on their crops. The soils uh, became kind of depleted with the nutrients after a few years, and so they tended probably to move their garden plots every four, five, six years or so to find fresh, fertile ground. For all their differences, Ohio's first farmers and today's farmers are similar in the ways that matter most. Like their modern-day counterparts, the Ford Ancient people fought the elements, spent long hours in the field, and were determined to feed their families and their community. They could not have known they planted the seeds of a rich and worthy tradition.